Okay. I would imagine that William will be speeding this up considerably during the cutting time because something tells me that most of you are not going to be all that thrilled to sit around and watch me cut fret slots. I have heard, I don't know for sure, but I've heard that it's not the most fascinating thing that's ever been done on a guitar. I'm taking that as gospel. I think it's probably true. So, I actually went ahead and started without you just to see if I could figure out what I was doing. I've never cut a fret slot before. But I did put a piece of tape on my saw blade to mark three millimeters, which is what I understand should be the proper depth. And that one is cut. So the one that I just cut is actually the um, zero fret, or that's where the nut will be. So that will get some more attention a little bit later on. And for now, we're going to cut some slots. Okay. This is the part where I really, really, really hope that I set this on the right side of the the scale. But if I didn't, then I would just waste the fretboard. But I'm pretty sure that it's correct. I checked it a couple of times. So I guess I could raise these guides so that they would stop the saw at the right depth, couldn't I? I think that's the way this is supposed to be done. Okay. Kind of makes more sense. Alrighty, it is time to get this truss rod installed and put the fretboard on. So, truss rod goes right in, just about like that. And we'll throw some tape on because that's what everybody does. Sorry to bump you there, YouTube. My battery's a little bit low. I didn't show drilling the holes for these locating pins for the fretboard, but I did drill those. I'm going to take off just a bit of this tape because the less tape there is, the more surface there is to glue. Yeah, it's a good thing it doesn't have to be pretty because it sure ain't. Where's the end of my truss rod? Yeah, it's right there. And that part's done. And for this particular operation, we will be using some Type Bone 3. Mostly because it's what I've got. So 
be afraid to get your fingers icky. I am going to leave the tape because I've got just a wee teeny bit of space in there. And the rattles or noise from the truss rod later on. There's pin number one and pin number two. And to help with this evening's clamping duties, I'm going to use, let's use one piece of the wood that was supposed to be the fretboard. Find one more clamp for the middle there. I decided to do two clamps for the middle just because I've heard of having too few clamps, but I've never heard of having too many. So, there we have it a glued up neck for Defiant. I'm going to go around and get some of that squeeze out while it's fresh and wet. And I'll check back in with you guys later. Thanks for watching.